All right, guys, unboxing. I'm going to show you this in use. And this is a little uh, OTG or on the go cable uh, that I was uh, sent to review. And it comes in this tiny little box because it is literally just a cable. And if we have a look inside, and we'll see what's so special about it. And you can see that it is micro USB. And you've got a little felt, uh, you've got a little uh, wrap around it there. And if we only, it was quite a stiff cable, but also quite a thick cable. So should should carry data and uh, power perfectly well, you know, with the thickness. It's definitely quite a stiff cable. It's going to take a little time to work out. But what makes this one so special is you've got, if you look at that USB there, and then we can flip that down, and you've got another micro USB. And the idea is, from what I can gather from the uh, supplier, is that you can plug this in to a micro USB device like a smartphone or something like that. And then from the other end, you can charge something smaller. So a little Bluetooth headset maybe or something like that, you could plug into there and the phone into there and charge the headset from it. So interesting and quite a nice little device uh, if it's if it all works like that it's uh, something well worth having i think if that's what it does and that would be the main thing that you got it used for then i would prefer to have seen it with a shorter cable but that's not that important because they do give you a built-in wrap here for it but uh, we're going to try it out anyway guys right guys so let's get it plugged in anyway so Obviously, I've got it in the normal sort of position there right now. And if we uh, plug that into there, this one's running my camera right now because I've done that much recording today, my battery's flat. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so here it is. In, this is like the standard mode that you're going to use it in. And if we plug that into there, and there you go, you can see the red lights come on there and the blue lights are on there. So it is fully charging right now. So. You know, the cable works. It's a really good thick cable, actually. And I haven't actually had got anything here that I can sort of show you it with other devices. Now, I did try it. Um, data transfer. Now, data transfer worked between two Windows phones and was able to transfer data from one phone to the other. So from that point of view, it worked. The bit that I couldn't uh, fathom out, and it could just be down to the device or something like that. When I had um, this plugged into a Windows phone, now I could only try it with a Windows phone because that was the only thing I could get my hands on to try. I don't know anybody that uh, has an Android handset right now. Um, and what I did was, so I plugged that end into a Windows phone and this end, end into a little Bluetooth headset, and I couldn't get it to charge. But that doesn't mean it won't work because at the end of the day uh, the whatever device you plug that into has to be allowing a throughput of power back and I tried it both ways so you know it's it's nothing to do with the cable it's more a case of it either will do that or it won't do it and it could even be down to the device wasn't allowing power to transfer back out of the port you know, uh, you may not be able to find a device that does that. I'm not really sure. So that one, I'm not sure about. I'm not sure it actually even claims that it can do it. So I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Uh, there's no reason why it wouldn't, as long as um, the device itself will transfer power back through a micro USB and out. So that's something to bear in mind if that's what you were buying it for. Uh, but for data transfer, absolutely great because then that data transfer is secure because you're not using any sort of wireless connectivity which can be hacked into or anything like that. So if you are transferring uh, some very sensitive data, then well worth it. Uh, the only negative, or I wouldn't even say it's a negative, the only thing I would want to really sort of be careful about is if this was getting used a lot, it's, it's fairly delicate. So... If you're going to buy one, it's something that you'd want to be quite sort of mindful of and careful about using. So, 
you know just just bear that in mind but other than that perfectly good cable very thick so not going to cause any problems at all and of course you got that to tie it back up with when you're finished so a big thank you from i believe it was Sautech. i'm sure that's what they're called but i will leave all the links below guys and uh thank you for watching so i'll see you all in the next one cheers guys see you Thank you.